Hi, I'm Rick Myers. I'm the author of this book. It's Films of Fury, the Kung Fu movie book. And uh, basically, I've done a lot of uh, these books before. Not a lot of these books, but I've done other books on the subject. So why do I do another one now? Well, basically because I know more about not just Kung Fu film, but Kung Fu. And what is Kung Fu? Most people might tell you it's martial arts. It's not. Kung Fu means concerted effort or hard work. And it's actually a self-improvement system where the, uh, the knowledge of human nature and mother nature creates a, uh, a system of self-improvement where you're able to uh, be healthy, happy, harmonious, balanced, and the ability to negate or deflect or return any negative energy, defend yourself against any attack, comes as a natural side effect. For every uh, yin there's a yang, for every uh, man, woman, night, day, it's the same thing with martial arts. There's an internal healing aspect which is powering an external martial application. And if you only learn one, which is often the way they teach Tai Chi in this country, um, you'll, you'll never You'll never be complete. As I tell my, my students at the various seminars and college classes I teach, if you only know half of what you should, you'll always be half of what you could. And that means that to truly know Kung Fu, you need to know the internal, the external, the mental, and the physical. Now, what, how does that relate to Kung Fu film? Well, it relates to it in a massive way, because the secret of Kung Fu films have always been there. It's just that we, as Westerners, didn't really understand it. We thought of Chinese Kung Fu like Japanese martial arts. Japanese martial arts like karate or judo or jujitsu, even Aikido, which is a little more uh, energetically open, as we say in the business. But for the most part, the what I tell my students is that Japanese martial arts is like ice, while Chinese Kung Fu is like water. And water is very powerful, but can't be broken, can't be chipped, can't be shattered the way ice can. As a teacher of mine will say, water does not choose its way down the mountainside, it just flows. And that's what your inner energy does. And that's what's true in these movies as well, but that's always been secret to me. Because as an outsider, as a Westerner, as, as, or as they call us, a guaylo, a, 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 a foreign devil, uh, I didn't understand any of this. I saw it all the way, I, I saw these movies, Kung Fu movies, the way I saw American action movies, whether it's Dirty Harry or James Bond or anything like that. And Kung Fu is far more. Kung Fu is a system, as I said, of self-improvement. So I wanted to write a new book that addressed that issue, that incorporated my learning about Kung Fu uh, into how I watched Kung Fu movies. I don't know if you know, but I might as well tell you. I started this genre generally by myself back in the mid-80s. I discovered real kung fu movies in Chinatown in New York, where they used to have six movie theaters which only showed Hong Kong film uh, with, with subtitles in widescreen. Um, since 1978, I'd been seeing like uh, at least 10 a month. So I would enjoy them. They were like comic, book comes, comic books come to life for me. So I, I would, as I said, enjoy them, but I really didn't understand them. I just thought they were so cool. And this last 30 or more years has been a, has been a system, a, a study. And, but I would look for uh, Kung Fu teachers in America, and there would always be something that I wasn't completely happy with. So I studied martial arts, but I didn't practice it until 2002, when I, as my teacher said, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I met a, uh, the world heavyweight Tai Chi push hands champion, Stephen Watson, in Taiwan of all places, only to discover that he lived 30 miles away from me in, in America. And so I started to actually practice Kung Fu then, and he taught, me to some, he taught me and he introduced me to some of the greatest teachers I'd ever met. And that informed my last 10 years of education, as well as some of my trophies and medals and all this nonsense I stole and borrowed from people. Uh, so, I would able, so I finally was able to write this book. And as you'll see here, I've got a little caricature of me with Poe the Panda from Kung Fu Panda because I wound up doing the, uh, I wound up doing the uh, consulting for, the Kung Fu consulting for Kung Fu Panda and for um, uh, Kung Fu Panda television series. And that was one of my proudest moments because as far as I'm concerned, Kung Fu Panda is the best Kung Fu movie ever made in America. So good, in fact, that the Chinese government condemned its own cinema for not doing it first. And that is a part of the book. As you can see, there's a bunch of different characters on the book. And inside the book, it's 360 pages of pulse-pounding 
uh, information and knowledge and fun, I hope, news, reviews, interviews, many exclusive uh, to uh, this book as well as first time ever really heard in this country. It's also a tie-in with a film that I also wrote called Films of Fury, the Kung Fu Movie Movie, which uh, should be out at some point around you, depending on when you see this interview. And I hope you will enjoy it. And so uh, buy the book, see the movie, uh, look for my other books right here on this site. And uh, thanks for listening. Bye-bye, everybody.